hands up if you can't hear me. Yep, just checking with a smart ass or something. <laughs> I like to have somebody in the show that has a, a sense of humour of every kind of persuasion, so um, I'll make sure I face those jokes at you guys and get a joke just for you. <laughs> Um, can you actually hear me in the back? Is that alright? Yeah, perfect. Um, so, anybody, any Canberrans here at the moment? Any Canberrans watching? Awesome. For today's show, I come all the way from Canberra. Anyone not from Canberra? Yeah, this is, this is the first day of spring for us. You, you timed it nicely. It's been torrential rain <laughs> up until now. Um, sorry? Sorry? It was, yeah, it's raining the whole country. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so, any Canberrans, I do a lot of shows around the place. Um, has anyone seen me before? Quite famous. You've seen me before? Where did you see me? Just here? Like yesterday? Yesterday? Last year. Last year, yeah. So, Florida hasn't been on for three years uh, because of COVID, but I want you guys to know that I was still here in the park trying to do shows to nobody. It was a really awkward time. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> it was kind of like a, a non-entertainment version. Is what, that's what they told me. Maybe they just didn't invite me. It was just flowers. Yeah, fair enough. Um, this conversation's not... Yeah, right, I'll just leave you alone. Perfect. Right, cool. So uh, those of you that don't know me, my name is Idris Stanton. I'm the Wham Blam Circus Man. That means I do circus tricks to rock and roll music. Now, you're probably wondering what kind of circus I do. I'm actually a juggler. And that is actually the perfect response to that statement. So, <laughs> thanks, Canberra. Sun silence is the perfect re reaction when someone says that they're a juggler. Um, you see somebody say that they're an astronaut or they cure cancer, you should be very impressed. You should clap and cheer. When someone says that they're a juggler, you should go like this. That's how Mum reacted when I told her what I do. Mum doesn't actually know I juggle. She thinks I'm a banker. It rhymes with banker. Anyway, now you are in good hands. I've done a lot of different gigs as a juggler. I don't want to brag, but two years ago I was performing at a university careers fair. Thanks, that's how I knew I truly made it. It was a big outdoor event over at the ANU. They had all these tables set up with all the different courses you could choose to study. And for some reason they had me standing on the end juggling. I thought it was going pretty well. About a half an hour in I realised I'm the example of what not to do with your life. I went up to complain and the lady running the event said, no, you're here to show what happens if you do an arts degree. Now kids, I like telling that joke in Canberra because typically half the crowd laugh. The other half have arts degrees. If you do have an arts degree, please don't get upset. I'm not trying to pick on you. I have a creative arts degree. Look where that got me. Into debt. That I never have to pay back because I don't earn enough. It's weird how we support the arts here. All right, so, going to start the show right now for you lovely people with a very unusual type of juggling. This is called percussion juggling. Not a lot of people do this. I like to do it at the very beginning. It's a bit unusual so that you guys get something right at the start. Um, guys... Just so we don't spread out with the crowd too much, there's a little rope on the ground here. Can we start the front row just on the rope? Is that okay? And then everyone that's at the back, if you want mind just sort of shuffling in a little bit so we don't get too close to the pond. Um, if anybody falls in the pond while I'm performing, I get shut down. It's the weirdest rule. And uh, on this side, I've been asked to keep my whole crowd on this side of the footpath and leave the footpath completely free. So just because I've got a couple of people watching now, can you guys just shuffle up to the rope for me? Thank you so much. And if you're standing on that side, can you please come to this side so I don't get in trouble? Thank you so much. Awesome. Now I want you guys to know that I wanted you to stand where you are now, so I moved the rope a metre further forwards, so that when you came halfway you'd be in the right spot. is all about the exchange of energy. In just a moment, I'm going to stop juggling and catch both balls in one hand. When I do that, if you'd like me to continue with the rest of the show, culminating in juggling the chainsaw, all I need you to do is just clap and cheer. If you're not into the chainsaw, that's totally fine. Just don't clap. I'll go home and I'll cry. I'm not trying to guilt you into it. I go home and cry every day. It's not about you. I'm just trying to make sure I don't waste your time. Let's see how we go here. Two balls in one hand. All right, let's step it up a notch. And if you guys want to see, you want the really hard tricks, you want high skill, I present to you eight tennis balls in one hand. Woo! Guys, we're at a flower festival, we're not in Las Vegas. You're going to need to lower your expectations. We'll all have a much better time. Right, eight in one hand, same deal. 
when I stop juggling, if you want me to continue and set up the big stunts, clapping and cheering. Woo! Right, let's do it. Now, I was supposed to warm this up before the show, and I forgot, so I'm going to warm up right now. This is not part of the show. Please don't clap for this. Just to make sure that I'm not going to hurt myself later. I said, don't clap! Stop. He's confusing us now by not being as needy as he was a second ago. That looks really good. Quick test to the audience. You guys are like, you might have forgotten how to lock, watch live entertainment. Um, it has been quite a long pandemic. Um, that's totally fine. You are welcome to stare at me like you're watching Netflix. See, I've adapted. I stop the show every 25 minutes and I just ask if you're still watching. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I didn't need a live crowd. I caught you off guard. We need the words TNT. We need a nice, loud boy. Let's try again. That's pretty rock and roll for a flower festival. It's kind of oi that you do when you're having a hot shower and someone turns off the uh, cold tap in the rest of the house. If you like that one, you're going to love this one. <laughs> my personal favourite is my personal favourite. Let's take it back to the golden age of 1962. And pop music was all about subliminal advertising, helping parents get their kids to sleep at night. Sherry, 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 Sherry. My favourite part about this joke is everyone that doesn't have kids is like, that's terrible. And everyone that has kids is like, yeah, I've been there. I had one of those nights last night, believe it or not. But it's not 1962 anymore. You can't give your kids sherry. Be Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. A big finish? It's a monotone instrument. You did really well. <laughs> All right, I'm going to count to three on three. I'll give you to give me a nice unarmed throw. If that's a good throw and I catch it, everyone's got to clap and cheer for you. Don't take out your own kid when you do it. Perfect. It's happened. <laughs> One, two, three. Big throw. Woo! That was pretty good. Don't, don't worry that not everyone's clapping. It's a flower festival. They're mellow. They still like you. Just, right. Quick victory lap. I like to do my victory lap at the start in case I don't make it to the end. And then we do tambourine juggling. Check this out. That wasn't it. Right, three tambourines. Into the start, turn around again. Off the head. Off the head, double time. Come on with me because you look so fine. And as he finished. I really want to make you mine. Are you gonna be my girl? Yes!
10 minutes. And then you're going to have a really harsh come down. All right, what's your name, my friend? Jack. Bro? Jack, gotcha. Sorry, Jack. All right, Jack, just a quick test to make sure that you're the most deserving child. Um, I just need you to lift this tennis ball up. It's really light, but I want you to pretend that it's really heavy, okay? So you're going to go... Hah! And as you pick it up, everyone's going to clap and cheer for you. Does that sound good, Jack? Right, on the count of three, so just face the front. Just just, just, just chill, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to count you in. Um, I'm really sorry, guys, to keep doing this constantly. I'm going to move this one last time. We don't need that much room on this side, so can I get everyone just to shuffle forwards again? And uh, can everyone that's on the footpath or on the other side, can you come over to this side for me so I don't get in trouble? Thanks, team. And uh, maybe at the back here, I know we've run out of rope. Uh, but if we could sort of form a circle and pretend the rope goes to here, that'd be great. You'll just see a little bit better. Jack will feel good about his first time on stage. This is your first time on stage, Jack? Yeah, all right, all right. You've done any formal acting training? Okay, it's really easy. On the count of three, you lift that up above your head. One, two, three. Jack, pop that down for me, pop that down. You did a really good job. Um, we're just going to do it one more time because half the crowd forgot about the clapping and cheering part. <laughs> That's fine. You, uh, the instructions were a long time ago. Um, as he lifts it up, let's make him feel really good. He's only 10 years old, right? He might remember this moment for a really long time. <laughs> so let's just put our energy together and make it a happy memory. You don't have to clap for me. I'm 37. I made my choice. <laughs> Jack didn't know he was going to be on stage today, so let's make him feel like a superstar. Right, Jack. <coughs> one. Two. He's the heavyweight champion of the world! Awesome, Jack. Did that feel good? All right, so we're going to do one more acting thing. I'm going to make the pretend sound of a gun. When you hear the pretend sound of a gun, I want you to pretend die. Right? It's going to be like a Shakespearean death scene, though. It's so really melodramatic. So, like, <sighs> and then fall down and die. You ready? It's going to move your head right from there so you don't dunk your head on the case. Right, pretend gun sound, pretend death. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> that was really good, Jack. Stand up, hold this. I'm going to put you just over here. What I love about performing in my hometown of Canberra is when Jack did the really good acting and he lifted up the tennis ball, I had to really force you guys to clap and cheer. But when he died, <laughs> you just loved it all on your own. Hold that nice and tall for me, Jack. Face me. You help me out with this. Then we do the finale. You get your chance to win $10. Watch me, Jack. Nice and tall. It's very important that you don't laugh at this bit. It's very serious. Don't laugh! did the dad death, we just went down to a knee and then hit, but that's fine. <laughs> I do the same thing. Now, so all you need to do to win this Oscar today is come on stage, interrupt my performance, and slap me in the face. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, we're not going to do a Will Smith. Alright, Jack, are you ready for the finale? Alright, I'm going to trade you the giant tennis ball, the little tennis racket. I'm going to get you to stand over here behind the tree. You stand there, face the ladder. 
You've got to hold that with two hands nice and still. I'll tell you what to do in just a moment. Perfect. All right, Canberra. Are you guys ready for the finale? Yeah. It's two thirds of the crowd, that's cool. People always complain that uh, buskers take too long to get to the end. I give you guys the option of skipping to the end and one third of you went, eh. Got nowhere to be, I'm not into the flowers, that's why we're watching you. All right, as promised, my most difficult and dangerous stunts. This first one is about the importance of community, the importance of looking after each other, and the importance of wearing masks. Weird moment for a golf flap, but I'll take it. <laughs> Big golden. <laughs> All right, as promised, my most difficult, my most dangerous stunts. Starting off with a trick I guarantee you've never seen before in your life. Can I just ask the gentleman there filming? You are welcome yes. to film, sir. You just look quite bored. To a nice loud oi. Absolutely amazing. I have a very important question to ask you all. Do you like my outfit? Yeah. Does anyone remember ACDC? Yeah. yeah. Angus Young, the lead guitarist. Not a lot of people remember anymore. Um, I've had quite a few people come up to me this week and ask me if I'm supposed to be from Harry Potter. That's <laughs> really annoyed me at first, but then I realised there's a lot of similarities between Harry Potter and ACDC. Like, you can play any ACDC song. Like Thunderstruck, right? Good intro, good song. And if you take the introduction and you play it backwards, it sounds like this. Right? Now if you slow that down exactly 2.8 times, listen. <laughs> that one had your JK rolling your eyeballs. <laughs> Can I please get a huge rock and roll round of applause for Floriad uh, for inviting me to come here and bust today? Woo! Like I said earlier, um, entertainment hasn't been on at Floriad uh, for a couple of years, but I was still here in an empty park trying to do shows. It was super awkward. Um, Floriad have been very kind to invite me to come here and busk, but they haven't actually paid for me to do the show. The only way that I make any money from doing what I do today is by holding out my hat after I've juggled the chainsaw and people that watch the show coming up and putting donations in it. Now, if you've never seen a busker before, you may think that it's strange that I ask for money at the end of the show, but I did try a show once where I didn't ask for money and I didn't get any. So I have to ask every single time. <laughs> when I perform in theatres, I usually charge $20 a ticket. Um, outdoors, that's too much for most people, so if you can afford five or 10 bucks, that'd be awesome. Um, if you don't have any cash on you today, that's totally fine, it is 2022. I now have an FPOS machine. So uh, if that was your excuse for not paying buskers, uh, that's gone, I'm sorry, you have to, uh, <laughs> you have to pay them now. Um, I know like the FPOS machine, it does sound like an old joke that we used to make. Um, it is 100% legit, yeah? I'm a registered business just like every other stall in the park and uh, having contactless payments is part of our uh, COVID safe policy this year. So if you want to pay contactlessly, you absolutely can. Come up at the end, let me know how much. Please bear in mind, if you're paying by card, there's a $10 minimum. <laughs> Been waiting years to say that.